Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 8th of 2021, well, it is titled the deep sky toward Andromeda. So what do we see here? Well, towards the uh, middle upper portion there, upper center, we see the Andromeda galaxy. And that is the nearest large spiral galaxy to our own Milky Way. And one of three large spiral galaxies that are the primary galaxies, the biggest galaxies within our local group of galaxies, our small cluster of galaxies to which we belong. Now, if you take a much longer image and a much more detailed image by leaving uh, allowing a much longer exposure. And in fact, this one was taken over the period of several years from 2018 to 2021. So using a number of deep exposures and combining those together to allow you to bring out more detail. So typically we can see the Andromeda galaxy, but we can also now see all sorts of dust and nebulae and nebulae that are also present in that portion of the sky. Now, if we want to try to identify some of these, a number of them have been labeled and annotated for you. So we can see those here. And there is M31, the Andromeda galaxy towards the central portion there. And up at the very top at the upper left is another galaxy, which is M33, the Triangulum Galaxy. Now these are the three galaxies, these two, Triangulum, Andromeda, and our Milky Way, that make up the major three galaxies within our local group. Our local group consists of uh, several dozen galaxies, but these are the very large ones. Most of the others are very small dwarf galaxies that are satellites of these uh, other larger galaxies. And they are in this case all spiral galaxies. So these spiral galaxies dominate our small cluster. Whereas when we look at very large clusters of galaxies, we find that they are dominated by very large elliptical galaxies, which may have something to do with the way the clusters form. When there are too many collisions, the spiral galaxies get wiped out and very large elliptical galaxies form. So in the denser cores of very large clusters, there are more elliptical galaxies. And in fact, our Andro the Andromeda and our Milky Way will eventually merge together and probably form a larger elliptical galaxy in a several billion years as they are on a collision course. But because of the immense distances between them, it will take a very long time to reach there. Now we can see several nebulae as well off towards the right hand side and down at the bottom we see a couple of different nebulae showing the red glow of hydrogen gas. And then one star labeled there Mirac as one of the brighter stars within this image and one relatively close on the sky to the Andromeda galaxy but of course not very close in distance. The star is within our own galaxy and Andromeda galaxy contains hundreds of billions of stars and is many million several million light years beyond the star within our own galaxy. So here we get to see a number of a little bit of the deep detail when very deep images are taken very long exposures over a period of years in this case to be able to see all the detail in the region around Andromeda. So that was our picture of the day for September 8th of 2021. It was titled the deep sky toward Andromeda. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.